kitchen. So today we're making some strawberry crumb bars. So before we dive into today's recipe, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos I publish. And to all my returning viewers, thank you for your support of the channel. Your comments and likes really do count and mean the world to me. So let's grab our aprons and let's get started. For our strawberry crumb bars, we're going to need the following. Sugar, baking powder, flour, salt, butter, egg, vanilla, strawberries, sugar, and cornstarch. Corn So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to chop up our strawberries. So we're going to take off the tops and we're going to chop these into little chunks. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add our sugar and our cornstarch. And we'll give this a good mix. Make sure all the strawberries are nice and coated.
So now we need to start mixing everything else like our wet ingredients. Okay, so we've added our flour to a large dish and now we're going to mix in our egg mixture and we're just going to give this a good stir. So we've got an 8x8 eight eight baking dish and we've got us some wax paper and we're going to put this in the pan and we want to make sure that it does go over the edges and once we get it weighted down it'll be fine. So we're going to take roughly half of our mixture and dump that in there. So now this is going to go into a three hundred and seventy five degree oven for about thirty to forty five minutes. So I've just pulled this out of the oven. It's gone for forty five minutes. So we need to let this completely cool down before we cut it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for a few hours for it to firm. So this has been sitting in the fridge for a good couple of hours. So now let's go ahead and peel this whoops, out of the pan.
mess up a piece real quick. Maybe could have could be just a wee bit longer. Maybe not. No, it looks good. Tastes good too. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. Let's move this over to the side. So, I hope that everyone has enjoyed the video. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. I also want to express my thanks to each and every one of you who has helped support my channel. And as always, be nice and be kind. And enjoy cooking in the kitchen.